Hey guys, I hope you are doing great. Adil here, your host, and this is a gaming review of Vivo's Y51s, and I hope that you will enjoy it. Before moving any further, you should know the key specs of this smartphone. It has 8 GB of RAM with 128 GB of internal storage, and Snapdragon 662 is powering up its performance, and the gaming performance is boosted by its Adreno 610 GPU. Now without further ado, let's take a look at the gameplay and you're watching it on low frame rate at smooth graphic settings. It's not just PUBG Mobile that we are going to test, we are also going to perform Call of Duty Mobile test on this smartphone so stay tuned and watch this video till the end and enjoy your moments. And that went pretty smooth, don't you think so? Now it's time to switch the graphic settings from smooth to medium and also move the frame rate a bit higher and we are going to switch the frame rate of this device from low to medium on smooth settings and now that we are done, let's move on and play another round. When it comes to the multiplayer matches, the Call of Duty Mobile has a much better experience in my perspective. So let's play a few rounds of it on maximum settings that are available on Vivo's Y51S.
You should mark the battery and note it down and let's play an open world map like Erangel on PUBG Mobile and let's find out how many battery cells this phone drains during a full match of PUBG Mobile. That went pretty well and I was able to play 20 minutes of gameplay while losing the battery from 77% to the 73% that's almost 4% on a 20 minutes of match and considering a full match is around 30 minutes you'll be losing almost 5-6% to of battery if you somehow manage to survive that longer. So that's pretty much it from my end Adil signing off from Techwafers platform and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.